Hey, what's up guys? This is Raul back at uh, from FireText actually, and I'm going to talk to you about the FireText skin editor. So that's why you guys are here, and that's why you're checking out this tutorial to see all our, all that our software can do. Now our skin editor, it can actually do quite a bit. There's um, It can do uh, text to screen, text voting, text to, or well image to screen, so MMS, or Bluetooth image to screen. You can add movie files, you can add ad rotators, uh, add video capture. So the ad rotator, it doubles up as a slideshow feature. And uh, the ad video capture is you can connect a webcam and you can point it to your audience and drop a little box in and your audience will be able to see themselves while they can uh, text over it or you can text under it. Um, it's a really, really great feature along with everything else too. So um, let's go over everything. Let's, let's start at the ad text over here. Now the text... Um, the text box allows you to add text to screen. So this is the box where your text messages will be displayed. It looks uh, it looks pretty plain with a uh, with a black background, but let's uh, let's import an image in so you can kind of so, so you guys can kind of visualize it a bit better. So I'm just gonna click on the background. So click on the black part, then select a background image, and uh, let's pick an image. Now I do have a bunch here from some of our really cool customers and uh, here's a nice one so let's pick that one that's nice and colorful now what I like to do is I like to pick background image layout as a uh, scale so or actually stretch let's do stretch over here stretch makes it fit really nicely it doesn't matter what the dimensions of your TV screens are it will always fit um, now here is our text box so we're just gonna click it and if you roll your mouse over the edges, you see this little uh, star here. So that will allow you uh, to move it up and down whichever way you wish. But uh, but the way our design works, we have this this space designated for it. So we're just going to put the box here and stretch it out a bit more. So uh, so it looks good. But you know what? It's not transparent because we're not picking up the background color. So let's punch out this uh, this white box and make it transparent. So we're just going to go over to the panel to, to your left and you'll see these panels the panel changes every time you click on different parts of the screen um, because each each part of the screen has different controls so let's click on the display text control and punch out the background to be transparent so now we got the background color there so let's uh, pick some actually let's take a look at the preview and see what it looks like mm -hmm. Yeah, looks eh, not bad, but we can make it a lot better. So let's turn off preview and uh, change the font color to white because that's going to give you a lot more contrast. And uh, let's make the nick font color, so that's where the number of the person or serial number of the person is displayed, to like a brighter, like a gold. That looks nice. And uh, let's increase the font size just a little bit more. There we go. Now let's check it out. Let's preview it. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, so we'll leave it be, and we're happy there. So um, now there's a bunch of options that we see here. Seconds before repeat is um, now the way our the way our fire text display works is that. Every 10 messages that come into the system, now when 10 messages fill a cache, it will recycle old messages if no new messages come in. And that's what this means, is that if no new messages come in, it will wait 5 seconds and then it will loop an old message. So uh, so you can adjust this to, to 10 seconds, to, to 20 seconds, to whatever you like, but 5 we keep it as default. So seconds on new message. Now what will happen is when FireText receives messages with an administrator, um, you could be at an event of like a thousand people or whatever amount of people, but it will it'll separate the messages uh, every two seconds. So even if you throw a hundred on the screen, it'll send one, then it'll wait one, two, then it'll send another one, then it'll wait one, two, then it'll send another one, and wait one, two. So basically that's what that does. That gives it uh, a nice seamless flow rather than this throwing all the messages on the screen. And you can customize that to 20 seconds, 2 seconds, 0, whatever you prefer. So 
Now the text movement speed is where you can uh, you can scroll the text horizontally or vertically. So I'm just going to set it to horizontal here and let's hit preview. And you can see so this is great for a new sticker style text messaging um, if you wanted to uh, to do like upper thirds they usually say that at, uh, at at big stadiums where you don't have to take up the full screen but you can just have a little ticker up top so these are uh, that's a really cool way so let's turn the preview off and now text movement speed this is where you can control different speeds So basically this feature allows you to adjust the speed of the text messages scrolling across the screen. So you can go very fast, fast, normal, slow, very slow. So uh, again, fully customizable, the speeds. Now the message spacing is this is where you can space out the, the messages that come onto the screen. So um, so basically if you don't if you think they're too tight or if you're choosing a font that that snugs the lines together um, this will allow you to uh, to separate those those lines coming in so it just adds for more visual control now over here we have um, the font control font control is uh, is where you can pick your font you can you can choose a font, any font that's within installed within your system, and the cool thing is, even if it's foreign characters, so uh, so any uh, Asian fonts, any Arabic fonts, um, any like any any type of um, let, let's pick this style right here. That's pretty funky. We probably won't be able to read it, but you know it'll give you a really good idea how it works. So, um, but let's go back to like the standard uh, the standard nice bold aerial you can't really go wrong with that there we go see nice and clear now here is where you can pick the font color now this is where you can match your font color to your graphics and I'm gonna make this one red just to see eh, it doesn't look so good so let's switch it back to haha a bright green that's that's looking a little bit funky but but um, you can see the user or the, the nickname right here blends in too much. So I'm going to give the nickname maybe uh, a brighter color. That works. It's not the best graphics, but it actually looks fairly decent. So um, our next uh, uh, pretext over here. So the post text is where you can add um, messages like a, a sponsor's message to say Coca-Cola and let's go there see now after the nickname is always coca-cola or before let's go let's, let's take this out and let's put pretext Ford. there we go see so that way um, you can just really add in a sponsor's name there really customize it for your campaign now show avatar now this is really great for tweet to screen now this is um, when people send tweet messages as you can see in this graphic over here there is a tweet to at fire text so if you send a tweet message to at fire text it'll come up live in this box over here and it'll show the avatar and the name of the person that sent it so um so this adds a little more for a little more entertainment and uh, let's turn uh, let's leave the avatar on I at least we can play the screen live so um, in the background we already went over that and that's where you can change the background to like a, a black box and that's basically what what all the controls do in the text box now let's add uh, we can see in this graphic here there's a voting control so let's add click on the button add voting so you can click on the add voting over here then you can just stretch it out to whatever size that you like now by default it's not very pretty but it's there so you can fully customize it any way that you wish so once you highlight once you highlight the voting campaign if you click on the back you can see this panel change but once you highlight the voting campaign you'll see a whole bunch of controls come up here now orientation you can set that to vertical and um, the background image will leave that none um, the background layout there's so many different things that you can do like with with controls just play with it you're gonna learn a lot by playing with it let's um, let's leave the orientation vertical so you can kinda see the the messages will appear like this where if you do uh, horizontal the messages will appear like that so um, but for this uh, for this tutorial let's do vertical now let's hit preview over here and take it off preview. 
Now background color, let's make it transparent. So we pick up the nice gradient that our designer uh, designed. And let's change um, the blink factor. Let's leave all this blink times. Let's all leave all that default. That uh, that that's actually um, it allows you to make your bar graphs blink every time a new message comes in or a new voting poll comes in. So um, let's uh, go back to bar thickness. We'll come back to that. But let's pick the nice font. Let's pick a, a nice bigger font over here. Bold. That's good. Now let's pick option color, uh, the font color, uh, let's make that white. Um, the option style, let's make it uh, text and bars. So we want to see some bar graph. I, I really like bar graphs. So, um, so we'll let that load up there. And let's, uh, oh, see, there we go. See, now these are the bar graphs over here. Now this is let, let's fix that title. A title is looking kind of small as well. So let's go show title, the title font, and let's go 16. So it's slightly bigger, and that looks a little more balanced. So let's go back to this blink factor. Now blink factor it will show how much it blinks, as well as let's go blink times. Let's go five. So every time a new message comes in, it will blink, and you'll see it happen here. So uh, show rank position. Now rank position is it will show let's say whatever gets the most amount of votes it'll show it in that order and then it'll number it that this this option got the most amount of votes and that's why it's number one and this one's number two number three and it'll add that that rank over there so it's just more for uh, more instructions for your audience. Now here's test options. So let's say if you're holding a campaign with 10 or 20 people or five people, the test options will uh, will allow you to design that. Let's add seven. So this is just for for designing purposes. We do offer that feature in there where you can add those campaigns. But really, all these variables are done within your FireText administrator. Now the option text is uh, is what do you want to show over here? I'm just going to hide the rank position just so you can get a better idea of how this works. There we go. So now option style text is do you want to show letters that uh, that people see or do you want to show the option text? Now this is the actual keywords. When you go option text, turn off preview, turn it back on just to refresh it. Now this is the keyword people would text in in order to participate in this voting campaign. Now I'll, I'll take you more into detail once we uh, once you check out the voting tutorial. But basically, this is just going to be a strictly design template. And I'm going to take you through the features of what each of these controls do. So, so, um, so you can just choose option text. I always choose option text because I like I like the audience to 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 see what they're going to vote for. Now the title you can show the title. The, right now we have hottest person in the house, but let's go false, and that will turn off the title. So as you can see in this graphic, we already have some graphics added to vote vote A or B. So the title is really already there. Um, now title alignment, that's all there. The font, the font color, all for the title. So if you did want to keep the title, you have full control over the color and style o over it. But uh, I think that template's looking pretty good, and I think we're really uh, we're pretty much ready to publish it, so um, let's uh, let's just hit save, save our work. As I always say, always save your work, because because uh, it's easier to go back to uh, a save file than having to start over. And I can I know how frustrating that can be. So let's go FireTech System Templates Folder and save this as uh, let's go Red Bull Red Bull Template. Perfect, and we'll save it there. Now, so we saved our work. Now let's take a look at some of these other features over here. Now add imaging. Now this is where you can add slideshows. Slideshows. These are pretty good here. Where you can, uh, let's just move this up a bit. And let's stretch this out a bit. I'm going to turn off preview so it's a little easier to stretch it out. So let's, uh, there we go. There, perfect. Now background color, let's make it transparent as always so we can get that nice beautiful gradient and hit preview. Now you can see the image is stretched, but basically um, you just need to go with the proportional dimensions of the images that you're going to be importing. So you can make this as big or as small as you want, or we can make an image there. And 
So I'm just going to move it over. And let's move this voting back. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So let's let's save let, let's uh, let's save our work again. Now let's go add movie. Now we can add a little movie box is where you can play AVI, MOV files, SWF files, and I think we have a nice little spot over here where we can put that in. Now we got a lot on this template, and typically you're not going to be putting all this on one template, but Again, I'm just showing you the capabilities of what you can do with our software. Now let's add an, um, an add rotator. So let's go add a rotator over here. And uh, there we go. So let's, uh, ooh, we're a little tight for space over here. So let's turn off the, the banner add rot or the, the image slideshow feature. And let's add, here is uh, the add rotator. Now we can put advertisements here. So you can play advertisements um, of your sponsors, logos, whatever you wish, and it will play in this box. So, um, and each control, if you click on it, as mentioned, you can see a whole bunch of controls that we have here, and we can make the background transparent. So if you don't have any ads, it just won't show anything, um, rather than just a, an ugly white box. Now, let's go video capture. We can add a little webcam capture over here. Now... We can add this uh, anywhere that we wish, but I think we'll just snug it in right there. That'll work really nice. So here's our really super packed everything template. Now let's hit save. Actually, let's give it a name. So click on the background and um, let's call it Red Bull Everything Template. And the author is Raul. And uh, let's go file save there we go now let's go take a look at our firetech software if you don't know how to start up the firetech software and the firetech display take a look at uh, the overview tutorial that we have on our youtube channel so that will uh, that'll give you um, a good idea how everything works let's go templates and there's our Ev rebel everything template hit set as active and we have everything here and you can see the parts where I didn't turn it transparent what it looks like and it doesn't look very good so let's hit uh, there we go now let's uh, send a few messages to the screen so we can see what it looks like um, there we go hit send to screen actually let's go here let's send this one I don't really like the other message there we go that's looking pretty good and you can see this voting campaign and uh, but uh, but you can see like the contrast between the voting text and the voting bars isn't quite right so we can adjust that in fire text if you click on voting then go edit your current campaign and um, and select each variable and I'll take you through this part uh, if you check out our voting tutorial I'll have a lot more information in there right now. I'm just going to zip through it really quick because this is just a, a graphical, uh, just just on how to create a cool template, a really advanced template. So let's hit save and we'll see it update here. There we go. See, it's looking a lot better. And uh, you can adjust the colors to anything that you like. So like, let's say a blue or anything that will blend in a lot more. But um, let me just pick a dark, dark, dark blue. So we have some good contrast here. There we go. Now, that is a, a pretty advanced FireText template. But again, I wouldn't pile this much in a template, but you can if you wish, or you can just add the features that you want. And um, But I don't really like those white boxes, so let's take those white boxes and make those, tr make those transparent. Transparent and transparent. And hit transparent, save, and background color transparent save now let's look at uh, 
pow. See? A lot better. There we go. There is a finished fire text template. Now, if you want to make it full screen, just hit Control alt enter and it'll extend to full screen. And uh, that's actually what you do on your secondary monitor. There you go, guys. Thank you for watching uh, the template tutorial, and be sure to check out our other ones. Just, uh, yeah, sooner or later, you guys will be a FireText Pro.